What's up guys? Here we are again for another reaction. So today we are here to continue our journey on reactions to TV shows. And the TV show we are going today with is uh, Sons of Anarchy. Guys, what the hell of a ride. 11 episodes already. These are the series that uh, from back in the days they would take longer to, to, you know, to be completed kind of, you know, because nowadays I think the series TV show, they don't, they don't take more than 10 episodes uh, per season. Back in the days, seasons, uh, they could take like from even 13 to 23 uh, episodes. So that's why the first season is, is taking long. I, you know, I don't mind, you know, because this show, uh, like I mentioned uh, no, a lot of times before, every single episode is something new, something fresh. So it's kind of like I'm watching uh, a new movie with the same characters every single episode. Yes, guys, we are adding to the finale very, very soon. Next week, uh, we'll uh, no, finish the first season of Sons of Anarchy. Today's episode is the 12th. It's called uh, The Sleep of Babies. Guys, I don't like what I can get from it because uh, this is a metaphor, I'm pretty sure. It's not regarding babies. It's, uh, it's about like they are using uh, babies to, you know, to define somebody else, you know? They can even like mention them being the babies, like because a baby is something that feels good, happy, uh, feels like you know the boss. So and they are like uh, feeling that way in that town, you know. So the sleep of the babies, if if it would be the sleep of the baby, it would be definitely like regarding his son, but because it's, now he's mentioning babies. But anyway, guys, I don't like uh, keep going with the uh, no. What the title of this? episode really means last episode wow was uh you know was great op is in bad shape right now that you know the that investigator that i call her the big cat because she's the one that is trying to you know to destroy the suns you know and she's like if there is someone that is able to do so see it's definitely her you know the way she made uh, you know, the sons believe that Obi was behind the the sneaking and the, you know, the rat on that guy's death, you know, which was actually the um, the fat guy that killed. They grabbed him. So they kind of like know his aim, more or less. But anyway, they are good because there is no, not really like witnesses. Only a girl could like, I think, somehow witness uh, from far because or even from here, because the drawings that they had regarding uh, OP and the fat guy that now I don't remember his name uh, looks like very similar, looks close. So that's why they know exactly uh, they were the ones behind the crime of that uh, guy, you know. Uh, yes, so now, uh, now OP is back to the Suns. They believed it was OP. No, OP is really behind the delivering of the information of the crime, you know? So, now Clay and that guy that, you know, I don't know, like his name now, the guy that is always in beef with Jax, they really believe that OP is behind that and they are really planning to to kill him, you know? Like, and if Jax, you know, puts himself in the middle, they will kill Jax as well. Because no matter what, Jax is still like, even though he's doing great stuff, uh, you know, they will not, never put uh, no, the continuation of the Suns because of Jax, you know, because Jax is protecting a guy that they believe that rat on them, you know. So let's see what's gonna happen. I think this episode will be great. Let's see how OP will, uh, you know, find a way to save his ass, you know. They put wires uh, on his truck, on his cell phone, that's why, no, uh, they believe is him. So, yeah, guys, uh, he is in bad shape. There is too many suspicions that he was him actually who rat on them, you know? I believe that if they eventually like do something really, really bad to OP, I think Jax will kill the investigator, you know? Because was because was because of her that, you know, OP is, you know, no, in bad shape. Yes, guys, uh, no, I'm excited for this episode and for the next that is coming very soon. We are having three finales my channel uh, next week, The Walking Dead, Peaky Blinders and The Sons of Anarchy. 
from the three, the only I'm pretty sure I'll keep you reacting to until the end who is uh, The Walking Dead. Unless if I feel The Walking Dead is not, you know, uh, going well anymore, or not receiving the, no, not enough support to keep going. But so far, The Walking Dead is the TV show I'm receiving more support to, so I'll keep reacting uh, until the, until I, you know, I feel like it's worth it, you know? Yes, guys, enough talk. Uh, before we jump to the episode 12, please keep me the love energy. By subscribe to my channel, this one click will make me much more happier, stronger. So keep you know with the right method to keep me seeing you guys almost every day. Yes, as always, hope you're having fun and let's do this, guys. Let's do this. Okay, the sleep of the babies, guys. Maybe I was fine. Yeah, they're together, for hundred percent. I wonder, like, definitely him will be until the end of the you know, TV show. Like, I don't know how many seasons that is. Maybe five, six. But I don't know about her. Let's see, like, if she will keep going with us until the end. <laughs> Sometimes I you think go. you love that bird more than me. <laughs> Sometimes I do. I like her, even though like I know she's not someone someone that you can really trust. You know, she has their own reasons to do stuff. A little bit like sociopath, but I like her. I don't know why. You, you go, Opie. May you always be. I'm. I told you guys, the sleep of babies. Everybody has a nice nap. Stay <laughs> I think uh, this guy, no, it's not his girlfriend actually, he's awkward. He is also doing the same as everybody else. Spending time with awkward, yeah. There you go. <laughs> he got the worst, yeah? Yeah, she missed, you know, the needle. Or she missed what the needle actually does to her, you know? Bringing her to heaven. Hey, I just love this uh, hat. I don't like how you call it. Wow, he looks good, man. He looks healthy. Lucky day, little boy. You get to join your family. Oh my god. Little coochie. I need to buy one of no, this jacket. I have to get out of the way to grab one. Hope he's wired. There's no way in hell we're going to be able to separate him from everybody. We got to protect our guys. Oh, yeah. Like I mentioned, they need to make sure the protection, the survival of the sons. Hope he's in bad shape. We can start making our case, tying him to Hefner's killing. I want to see you. Claymore wants to see you. Hey, hey, hey. You go. Look at how much power he has. You kicked down my doors. You hurt my wife. Jude the dope in his family proves one thing. You're desperate because you get nothing on us. Kills you, doesn't it? To see me and my guys living good lives. <laughs> You're a fascist pig. And what Otto did to you is just the tip of the iceberg. You go, wow! She doesn't know actually what, no. What she messed with. You sell them those guns, it's a goodwill gesture. Mayans turn around, place a big order, they give us half the cash in advance. We set up two locations in Oakland, right? We pick up the money from one, we drop off the guns at the other. They never see guns for money. You know, with Abel leaving, I just realized it's not just you. You have a son. We need to think about what we're doing. My well, shit was not crazy, Tara. That I gotta be with you every minute or I'm gonna kill myself type of crazy. I know. But I'm not trying to avoid this. What we have. We can have a minute. <laughs> yeah, guys. Like, for me, it's like, she's not the right girlfriend for him, you know? But that's like how we create something beautiful in the show. It's when a couple is in love with each other, but they kind of like don't fit, you know? In terms of like their society, their, their, their way of living kind of, you know? It's a perfect way to create a drama. With me and Tara, what am I doing? To hurt her and Jax? Asking me if I still love him, do I want my family together? That was all about pushing her out of the picture. Are you playing with people's lives, Gemma? Yeah, it's true, man. It's just, this woman is crazy, man. Few definition of a bitch. I don't like her. Putting down that needle for a few weeks somehow gives you the right to judge me? <laughs> Another one. At least, yeah, she knows how to not hurt someone, she knows how to enter someone's mind and play with the people. Jesus is just a guy who cuts my lawn. Jesus is, is just a guy who cuts my lawn. I didn't get that because I don't know the meaning of lawn. But don't worry, okay? We have sheriffs on the street, I have my people staying with you. It'll all be over before you know. So that's the girl that uh, witnessed the murdering of Ethna, I think. Here you go, the guns. You think this is a bad idea? Yeah, I do. Look at the last few months, man. Warehouse gets blown up. Mines try to kill Clay. 
Bobby's in jail. We got ATF trying to stick Rico up our ass. How much longer do you think this club's got? Well, man, you saw the nightmare coming. So Jax is slowly also feeling that you know, Sam's Crow has no future. And that's how the twist here, I think Jax will soon be against Clay. You'll see. And they will start, if they decide to kill Hopi, kind of like if Jax has this mentality that he's having right now, guys, we're going to have a beef very, very soon. Between our favorite characters, that will hurt me a lot. Hey. Wow. Your mom wants to take the kids to Fun Town and then to dinner. Hey, guys, Fun Town. I got, no, I was traumatized by that episode. I think she's just finding excuses to stay around until she sees you. Maybe she feels like his mom, that he's about to, to be imprisoned. So she wants to be more close to him as much as possible right now. Wow, it's the first time I'm watching her with this good mood. <laughs> I'll tell Mary to bring the kids home before dinner. Yeah, I like to see her with this mood, you know? Because even though she has like this angel face, she can be tough. She can be a devil as well. But she is lovely. You could, you know, we could tell right now. There's gotta be something better you can be doing than holding up clever signs. Don't really like uh, understand homeless. There is so many jobs out there they can do. Instead of like being there, even like cleaning dishes in a restaurant. Come on. Glad you're still in one piece. Yeah, it's been a really exciting month. <laughs> Hell, boy, come on, you can tell. Alvarez thinks he'll be getting his first gun shipment. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, that was his plan all the way. Time and location is the deal. Guns at one, money at the other. You see, guys, they are all rats. Right now, Clay is writing on Alvarez. What are the weapons? AKs. Mac-10s, combat shotguns, about 25k worth of hardware. But for, in my eyes, like, when you, you know, do a deal and you grab the guns, you need to still sell the guns, so you are still like in a position, you are up to be caught by the authority. So I would rather make them sell the guns and get the money. And all we gotta do is spin the angry black man story. Play the niggas against the wetbacks. I like it. <laughs> Play the niggas against the wetbacks. Yeah, these guys are like professionals, man. Put a bullet in the back of Opie's head. Opie looks like the victim of gangland violence. And we blame the angry black man. It's the American way. Jesus, you are really planning to kill Opie. Mm, I don't like if I... I think my uh, feeling for Clay changed right now, you know? I don't know what you think. That's what the spring was. He's feeling guilty about what he might have to do. But how Clay didn't thought about... Maybe they were the ones who put the wire on Opie's truck and Opie's uh, cell phone. That's like a little bit... Naive from uh, no click, I think. Are you with Jax? I don't know how to answer that. Do you love him? Ex-husband. Yeah, come on. Two more Husband. months before that's official, okay? Oh, okay, they are not still uh, divorced, kind of. They are still, like, married. Wow. I have to get back to work. This triangle is good. It's well written. Gemma hates you. She'll do whatever she can to keep you guys apart. May as well quit while you're still ahead. Yeah, man. Gemma is a bitch. But Gemma is right, and because she, she's a sociopath, she thinks about you know, the, the, the sons, Senko, and she knows Atara is not the right person to be with. No, Jax, basically. She's willing to Jax to be with someone like her, like Gemma, for example, not like Tara. Tara is like perfect. It's too perfect. It's two girls, right? Don and Fawn. Guys, if Opie dies, he's one of my favorite characters, man. That's gonna be fucked up. I still like, I'm, I have hopes that that will not happen. But, guys, uh, so far, 12 episodes, we have not any, like, our favorite characters dying. And that's, like, uh, rare in TV shows, you know? Unless if this TV show is the opposite, opposite of Game of Thrones. But I don't think so. Someone, like, that we like will die soon. Oh, yeah. That's Fantown. That's close to Fantown, yeah? What? I hate dolls, man. <laughs> I hate clowns, not dolls. The thing about dolls is like, you know, it's the perfect thing to create something horror, you know? Imagine like looking to the doll and then the doll moving. It's eyes. It's like fucked up. Javier, call him. Tell him to do Nice. Guys, we're gonna have blood today. If Avaris dies, that's like a hell of an episode. <laughs> With a doll as well, this guy, you know. Here you go, Opie. 
Wow! It was the first time Obi killed someone, I'm pretty sure. Here you go. That was a deal. Here we go, let's see. Because he saved him. Hey, it will be like, this is like his luck for me. So the reason why I didn't kill him is because Opie saved his ass. I like this. Now a classic plot, basically. He got a lot of, no, shooting. We got some cowboy shit right here. That's why I think like cowboys, they are like the pioneers of gangster shit, you know? What is going on right now in the world of gangsters? Is the an evolution of cowboys? I don't know. This could be the worst case scenario. Broke with no guns. Yeah, broke with no guns. All right, baby. I love her. I just like the way the sound of her voice is so sexy, you know, so satisfying. That's why I like. Her. Pick up my kid. So we had, you know, a crazy moment. Now we're having like the homecoming of baby. It's a crazy twist. Had to be the night after the party. Make it ghetto. Make it gangster. All right. Well, about Obi, they are still planning to kill Obi. Yeah? It's that thing, man. They's like, they uh, will not pass that by, man. Jesus. And the thing is, like, we're gonna have that after the homecoming of the baby. This episode is you now has everything to be like the best so far. Hey, little man. Hey, little cutie. It might be so, such a great feeling, you know, grabbing your son, your most important one. Let's get this family home. Let's get this family home. <laughs> it was a dick to her, you know? His first brisket. <laughs> <laughs> They're already like putting him in a, no, in a bad, you know, path, let's say. In a rabble one. Okay, this guy's in danger. The witness's identity will be out tomorrow. Sam Crow will know that he's not the snitch. Yeah. Even this guy is like worried about Opie. You storm in here and you turn this town upside down. And then you just walk away. Yeah, she's leaving. Jesus. That thing in the morning when Clay came to her office and digged her. He's making her quit. She has nothing to them anymore. <laughs> she's fucking jealous, man. She really wants Jax back. Here we go, Tara. Come on. It's time to put your feet on. Let's go for Gemma. Gemma is crazy. To make like she is hurting her son. Her son likes Tara. Come on. Look, I'm just saying we should be cool with whatever this is around her. You know. Whatever this is. Tara. No. Hey. Jeez, I'm expecting this, man. <gasps> and Jamie is happy. Look. Oh yeah. Guys, you're gonna have some. Yeah, I can see. Thing that. now that I'm feeling. You know. There you go. Yeah. Looks everything good to OP. This show will hurt us now. Yes, kids and stuff. Clay does that. There you go. Okay, gangster shit, yeah? Like you mentioned, let's see. Why don't you just stay? I can take the kids home and put them in bed. You sure? Yeah. So, this was not supposed to happen. This was not, no, what they are thinking of. <gasps> Guys! So, he will think that, you know, she's OP instead. If they are planning to sneak on OP uh, on the truck, yeah. Let's see. Guys, don't tell me they will kill his wife. Jesus. Guys, it's gonna be crazy, man. Something will happen, something bad will happen this episode. I'm feeling. I'm hoping to not, but that, that's Destiny. Destiny is fucked up. Yeah, so. Yeah, he thinks he's OP. Come on, how can he not tell like he's not him? It's about OP. Hopefully they will save all his ass. I know ATF's been hanging him out as a rat, but that ain't the case. The witness is somebody that lived in the building where Hefner got killed. Mention it. Clay needs to do something. Come on, go after that guy. I think he might have kept the phone on his, uh, what? Uh, uh, motorbike? Here we go. I knew it. Jesus fucking Christ! That's fucked up. What is it? If she dies, this will make Opie against the Suns and Jax will join uh, Opie because, you know, a bullet from behind. Here we go. Shit! Jesus, she fucking died, man. Hey, guys. And I was liking her, you know, especially this episode. 
Guys, I can see like there's a plot here. Donna? OP and Jax will be against Sons from now on. Oh, baby. Oh, my God, man. Great acting. He's doing great, great job. He's, you know, looks legit the way he's feeling. What do we know? Guy walking his dog saw a black SUV roll up on the truck. I'm thinking this brutality was meant for Opie. Yeah, here you go. And Opie knows that because Opie was supposed to be in the truck instead, you know? The thing is, these guys, they can live with this, you know? They have done this in the past. You know, they killed people that they kept, even. But the thing is, not, is about Opie now. Hope we will try to find out who is the one behind the killing. There you go. Because of what? Yeah, and they had like a lot of confrontations. I knew something bad would happen. I knew it. I could feel, you know? Hey. Donna. I liked her a lot, you know? She was so protective. She was the, you know, the least girl that deserved something like that between all of them, you know? She was a proper, like, woman. You can take care of my son. It's time for me to do this more. It's time for me to do this what? To leave the sons? Yeah, if it happened to Op, it can happen to him. That's like, then he's, he's processing stuff right now. You know? May your wishes cool. all come true. That's the thing. When you are, you know, doing this type of lifestyle, the people you love are always in line to get hurt. Because it, you have enemies, yeah? So, the enemies will use the ones you love to hurt you. Here you go. To be oh, yeah. Wrong. Well, here we go. Play would have to live with that. But he can't do that. Because he have done this in the past. Just a moment for him. For Opie and for Jax even. That's like a change. Stand upright and be strong. Stay. What? Yeah, no, he had the beef with Tara. But come on. Foundation hey! When the winds have changed. Maybe by that Tara is not like in a position anymore to be in danger, you know. And may you stay. The, no, the episode started with them, the Jax and Tara, in the bed. Now it's uh, Jax. I know I forgot this, uh, her name. Wendy, yeah? Wow. That's a change of everything. This episode is a breaking point. Wow, guys, what a great episode. What a great episode. Uh... I don't know if like it's my favorite, but definitely like, uh, no, in terms of like emotionally, is like the hardest, you know, because so many reasons, you know, Jax and Tara, they are, they are not as good anymore, you know, uh, Donna died, you know, and Donna died in the most injustice way, you know, because first, Opie is not a rat, and second, Opie was supposed to be on that truck instead of her. So she's like she was in the third of the on the line kind of, you know? Like for in terms of like reasons. You know? So bad luck for her. Bad luck. So this episode is what uh, will define the plot for the second season. Second season will be open definitely like leaving you no know, sons because if she died, his kids can die as well. So what's the point of you no know, keeping himself with the same crew. And uh, like we witnessed, Jax was also mentioning that you know uh, he can see not a bright future for the Suns, so he might leave as well. I don't know. Uh, this TV show is called uh, Sons of Anarchy. So Sons, the, no, the Suns has to keep going. Maybe Jax will kick and kill and get Vengeance Tower Clay and everyone. Uh, included on the sons that he believes that he's making now the sons going to the path that is not the, the right one is not the path that his father believed in, you know and clay is one of them so we might uh, see soon like Jack's taking over you know the sons being the king somehow imprisoning clay let's see if clay will be in the second season villain possibly is a possibility based on this twist now you know because i think uh opie and jack they're like brothers and if 
OP is in the middle and Jax has to uh, choose between OP and the Suns, in this case Clay, he will choose OP. I, uh, a couple uh, episodes ago, I give my thoughts regarding that and I mentioned that I think soon Jax uh, will be against Clay. You could see some uh, you know, difference on the vision regarding the Suns future and you now the all the show giving us the scenes him reading his father vision thoughts he's educating himself you know he's becoming more his father and his father vision are completely different of clay so the artist the writer of the show did did really well uh you now putting the pieces together so us to believe this way jacks be against clay somehow in the future you know wow that's what this episode was a bomb, was a bomb. So finally, uh, one of the characters that we were now always having with, the characters we, uh, I never like really liked her. Somehow like I knew that she was uh, now always being protective for, to, to her family, but she, she, you could tell that she, is, she could be like a, a devil, you know, even having an angel face. But in this episode, uh, they did really well. Because they started by showing uh, a different side of her, you know, uh, a more kind side, you no know? more, com you know, compassion side, more uh, care side towards Opie, especially, you know, you could tell that she was like being so kind to Opie. Uh, you know, I think it was the best moment that they had so far in this show, uh, you know, this episode, you know. So they did well to show us that, because by doing so. They could hurt us even more now in the end. And that's like what TV show is all about. You know, you you want, uh, the artist wants you to finish the episode by thinking about it. You no, know? like that's what TV shows are. Art, art is making you get stick to it. You know, and yeah, what better reason for us to get stick than uh, knowing now what Obi will do? What What's gonna be like the future for Opie now on the Suns? At uh, this happening, you know, guys. Uh, now what a you know uh, well written story. I just loved this episode, and I was really like thinking uh, that this show will not be the one I will be choosing to keep reacting to the end. But guys, this is like a twist now, you know. I don't know. Like I will stop reacting uh, to this. Uh, TV show after I finished season one because I want to give the opportunity to another ones and then I'll be deciding. Uh, but The Walking Dead is the one that I will uh, keep reacting to. Uh, but I want to like another one to join The Walking Dead uh, so I'll keep reacting to the end. But I will give more uh, chances to another TV show. So I'll be reacting to four more very soon. Uh, but you know, Sons of Anarchy with this twist now in the end, come on man. There is high chances for me to keep going with it. So let's see, guys. There is not like uh, I will not put this uh, TV show to the side because I'm curious to see what, like what's gonna happen. Yeah? Uh, yes, guys. I think I said it all. Can wait to see the now the next episode. The next episode is called the Revelator, guys. The Revelator. They will not mention that it was them that killed uh, Opie's wife. So I don't like the Revelator stands for here. So, but you know, next episode we'll definitely know what the Relevator stands for, yeah? Yes, guys, enough talk. I don't keep going with this, otherwise this video will be too long. Uh, as always, if you like the video, press the like button, comment if you think you know, I missed something, said something dumped, you know, uh, sh should know something about this episode, you know, uh, should I pay attention to certain things in more detail, whatever, guys. Comment whatever you think I should know. Share with your friends, they might like to watch someone else reacting to this incredible show. And uh, subscribe to my channel, give me a little energy, so I keep strong with the right to to give me things to you guys. Yes, as always, hope you're all having fun, and most important of all, stay safe, guys, and we'll go on. Thank you.